Vaughn still serving. Spins one towards Kono, who deals with it. Now she'll get the return set up. Goes with the left hand, and I think that threw her off, but in the end, it's gonna be a, an infraction there on Winona State. So 23 to 20 to score. Upper Iowa now with the serve. Able to get that one over the net. That's gonna be an ace for Upper Iowa and Summeroth. Volkman got a piece of it and actually was in the way of Larson who tried to follow up on the play and it couldn't have come at a better time for the Peacocks. Warriors now receive that serve cleanly. Poggle now winding up and got it through the blockers there of Willis and Konell. And now Winona State gonna be serving for set point. Poggle will get the honors. Her serve dealt with by Bisecker. Pazorski now knocks it towards the back, dealt with by the Warriors. Now here to Larson on the near side, partially blocked in the net. Kono gets something on it, sent back over the net, and Upper Iowa get the point there in the end on another infraction by Winona State. So the Peacocks not gonna count themselves out of this set yet. Pazorski serving now. Winchell now looks to set up Larson for that final point. Too strong though in the end. And that's another point for Upper Iowa. Still set point for Winona State. But right now the Warriors a little bit off their game here trying to close this one out. And they're gonna take a timeout to sort things here in this second set. Can still in favor of Winona State, but Upper Iowa have found a way to get back into this second set. In terms of, again, the players they've been leaning on here in this match, Maggie Stratif with seven kills, Rettler and Summeroff each with five, Pazorski with 16 assists so far this evening, 11 digs for Casey Biesecker with Imbronio right behind with eight. Winona State, it's been a total team effort, Poggle leading the way with seven kills, four each for Paulson and Lang, three though for Larson, it's just been those four in terms of the attack right now, leading the way for the Warriors. Winshow with 16 assists, 20 digs already for Volkman, already mentioned in terms of her season high, it was 29, so a chance for her to break that this evening, leading the defense for Winona State. And she's gonna be needed here. One more point up, Iowa can tie things up and we will uh, extend to at least one more extra point in this second set. Warriors fans over the left side of your screen begin to rise, trying to rally their team here to close things out on this point. Warriors now, Winchell setting up Larson, blocked by Stratif at the net, still though with Winona State. Larson, another bite at the apple, another partial block by Stratif. Peacocks now, Stratif goes on the attack, that shot up into the Raptors, Volkman though able to get to it. Warriors though just bumping it over. Pazorski now, Stratif again, single blocker in front, dealt with by Winona State. Larson, third time the charm, no, blocked at the net. Still with the Warriors, shot there, dealt with by Biesecker. What an effort by the Peacocks, can they finish it off? Kono shot off the Raptors. Larson now, another chance, winds up and fires, sneaks it over the net. Straight up, blocked at the net, out of bounds! Upper Iowa come all the way back to tie things up at 24. What an effort by this Peacock outfit. Everybody contributing there to pick up that point and now it's 26 the number that both teams are after. Crowd absolutely electric here at Dorman. Pazorski comes sliding in. Bisecker getting it over to Kono. She goes cross court, dealt with by Larson. Winona now down the middle and that shot eats up Kono at the net as it was Savatsky who gets in on the attack for Winona State and it's set point once again for the Warriors. The serve from Winchill, all the way to the back, it's in the service, air! 25 all, shades of that third set in the first matchup where the Warriors won 28 to 26. Can the Upper Iowa Peacock still come out on top this time? And Bronio back in on the side out. Her serve, dealt with by Paulson. Winchill now for Paulson at the net, goes towards the back, it's another miss on the part of Winona State. 
And now Upper Iowa have somehow find themselves here, ready to serve for set point here in set number two. And Bronio serve. Off the ceiling there, Paulson gets something on it towards the back, it's a miss, Upper Iowa all the way back. 27-25, take set number two and find themselves up two sets to none, ready to try to put this away in straight sets over Winona State. What a ferocious, tenacious, amazing comeback for Upper Iowa, finding themselves down by six, seven points, finding themselves a way to come back in the second set. Can they put it away in the third? You don't want to miss this, folks. We will be right back after these messages.